everyone welcome back to my channel once again i'm back in the car i just thought like the lighting in the house just isn't um good at the moment it's like 10 it's five to two which is like still like completely daytime but i'm very fussy with lighting and obviously we're in winter so it starts to get dark anyway you don't need my life story i'm just gonna film this intro in the car basically um today's video is a vlog though it's a little bit all over the place i basically have been in london a few times recently um over the past like month and i filmed a few clips just like random little clips just to look back on and i thought i'd throw them in this vlog i'm also going into london tomorrow so i'm going to try and like actually properly vlog the day in london tomorrow and then there is also a pr unboxing bnm haul etc in the vlog as well so there's quite a lot going on um but the clips that are a little bit random that i thought i might as well throw in now i've just kind of ruined what i was going to say then the random clips i filmed i thought i might as well throw them in as well so basically the random clips there are some clips from when sphere and i went to a silent disco at the natural history museum which is quite a cool thing um i will insert a few clips from that there are also some clips again from when i went to london with sophia when we went to harry's um no that was from a different vlog that's from a different vlog i meant to say um the dior at alto thing i didn't vlog that day and i really wish i did because it would have been like a good day to vlog but we went to the alto dior thing which they're not doing anymore they've stopped it unfortunately but i thought just chuck those clips in anyway and then last weekend was it no it was the weekend before last halloween weekend oh great the sun is now do you see what i mean about the lighting it's just an issue then halloween weekend i went to bully ballers and bottomless brunch again that's the second time i've been it's amazing um went there with sophia and i was just as buzz like you you'll see that in the clips <laughs> that was a really fun night and then the day after that i went to the lion king with josh again in london just seem to spend my life in london at the moment so i'll just chuck all those clips in here just so they're not wasted so you can see them and then we shall get on with the rest of the vlog but what is this lighting doing can i pull this down is that gonna work no is this gonna work no okay i'm gonna wrap this intro up here because i've got this annoying bit of sun and i've also rambled but that is today's video it is a vlog i hope you enjoy it and that's all i've got to say really enjoy the video um we're now in london <laughs> it's raining and it wasn't forecast too so i've got my blazer over my head and i can barely see but um we're in london now um i have got a short sleeve thing on as well and it's also raining um but yeah it's like half ten i think and we're just walking to drunch in the rain which is really really enjoyable and lovely okay we have some lattes i feel like you kind of i feel like you can't come to drunch without getting them so look at these yummy okay mini donuts a hash brown because i fancy something savory it's a bit random and some pancakes there you go okay we've been to brunch now the donuts are actually incredible i would thoroughly recommend it i don't feel like it's one of those overhyped places i would actually say it's, i don't know if i'd bother going again but it is really nice um still slightly raining but i've given up um as you can probably see <laughs> You're like in the corner with your <laughs> Um We're heading off to Selfridges now. So I might film a few clips of Selfridges. We've just been in the Disney store as well. So I'll chuck those clips in here. We're in the Disney store at the moment, by the way. So look at these. Oh, look. <gasps> no. Oh my Is God. It, it's Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. Yeah. I might have to get that. Oh my God, it's Sophia. It talks. It talks. It talks. Come back. Oh my God, it's 20 pounds. I'm <laughs> tempted. <laughs> look at this oh my god and it comes with a little spoon obsessed it's not even my favorite film but there it was a really cool like buzz um like decorations is and so which i'm very tempted to buy yeah i did so i'll like pop it in um so yeah we're just gonna go to selfridges now we should go from there look at this one i like that so much oh my god look at that Oh, I'm scared to drop it. We're in Selfridges at the moment in the Christmas section. Look at this. Absolutely. Gone then. We're in the Jelly Cat section again. We were in here in Harris the other day, but look at this. Well, surely they've got a big. They were on like a stand like that, unless they're at the corner. But look at that. I actually want that. They're there. That's them. Yeah, but that's it. Yeah. Oh gingerbread man and look at the little mince pie look at this what's this on i can't turn it i need to turn it around i like this i oh you can't see where are the eyes on this jesus there we go there's a little mince pie but look at that how much you think 
over 100. 160. Oh, if it was under 100, you'd have been coming home with me. Oh, look at this. Have we seen this one before? I don't think. Oh, yeah, we have. We've got that is so cute. I actually am going to buy one one day. One day. One day. Christmas present idea. Anyone that wants to buy me a Christmas present, buy me one of these. We are now walking to Covent Garden. Have a join the juice because we wanted something like fresh almost in between having something sweet for breakfast and then what we're about to get is something sweet. Um, don't really have anything to update you on though. I bought a little Christmas decoration from Selfridges though. Um, now I'm just going to Covent Garden. Oh my God, it's not even looking as nice on camera, but look at this. No, it looks really dark on camera, but it's so nice in person. The Dior on Bond Street looks so nice. Oh my God, look at this. It's like a maple ice cream. And it's like a little tree to match that. Oh my god, we're in Milk Train by the way in um, Covent Garden and we have this autumn tree thing. Hi lady. <laughs> Flipping out, sir. Very so loud. Look at this Westfield MS. So random. Such a random vlog clip. But it's so nice in here. They look incredible. Right. Everybody that wants some Christmas canapes, just look at these, okay? Chicken Kievs, battered chips up sauce sausages, chicken tikka naan breads. That is that is mine and Sophia in a canapé. That would be us. Beef burger spring rolls. Wow. If you want canapes, come here and get this as well. This looks delicious. It's so good. If anyone hasn't seen my Zara haul, this pull and bear jacket is such a good dupe of a North Face one, and also. These shoes are giving me like New Balance 327 vibes. So Pull and Bear is really good for dupes at the moment, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And now it's time for a little PR unboxing thing. I've always watched people do vlogs like from when I was, what, maybe like 15, doing PR unboxings. And I was like, that is so cool. And I'm going to do one today. I think this is like the, yeah, this is like the first PR unboxing I've done and it's exciting. And first off, I'm going to start off with this because look at how beautiful this, blah, 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 blah. the bow has just slipped a little bit down, but look at how beautiful this packaging is. This is Beauty Works new Christmas collection. And I am so excited to show you these bits because just look at this. I am literally getting so excited excited for Christmas now like this is literally like Christmas when this arrived at my door so I thought I'd like I haven't opened it yet I'm getting some of my words I haven't opened this yet because I thought I wanted to show you it beautifully packaged up and I just knew I wouldn't be able to package it up as well as they had if that makes sense so I thought I'd do like a little unboxing on camera and I am so excited about this this bow as well oh my goodness it says Merry Christmas on it and beauty works that is beautiful <laughs> so inside here oh my goodness me wow Okay, I've got a little leaflet of everything, but look at this packaging. Oh my goodness, that is incredible. So first off, we have this. I've got my phone down here just so I can make sure that I'm saying the right thing. So this is the Dream Duo. So in here we have the Beauty Works Super Hold Hairspray as well as, oh my goodness, this. This is gonna be my go-to, the Beauty Works Texturizing Spray. I love texture sprays so much. And then inside as well, I love how they package this. Can you see that? Like that just goes in the middle. This is their limited edition Beach Wave Comb, which looks like so. So the stuff in here is worth 40 pounds, but you can get it for 37.99, which is incredible. Um, the hairspray is 300 milliliters and the texturizing spray is 250 milliliters. And like I said, this is limited edition as well. So if you want this, get this little set. Then carrying on, we have these two, which is so crisp. Christmassy, we have these two little Christmas crackers. Imagine like eating your roast turkey and your roast beef um, at like your auntie's house and she's popped these on the table for you. I'd be like, oh my God. So this one is the hair goals cracker and this one is the, I just lost it, the styling sensation cracker. So there are two different crackers. In this one, we have the texturizing spray and the hairspray, but little mini ones. So they're 100 milliliters, which is perfect for your bag because I always find that like my texture spray, I need to like top it up throughout the day. So that is perfect. And then this one, which is the hair goals one, has a 50 milliliter argan serum in it and a 100 milliliter heat protection blow dry cream, heat protection blow dry cream, and a pearl hair grip. Oh my God, this one has a pearl hair grip as well. They both have a pearl hair grip in them, okay? I'll insert a close up of the products, but I wanna take a nice picture of them before I open them. So I'll insert a picture of them. This one is the styling sensation one, and that has 20 pound worth of product in it, but it's 16.99. And the hair girls has 21 pound of products, but it's also 16.99. And these are such a cute little Christmas present because they're already so beautifully wrapped up. Like you could literally, Put it under the tree like that save you the wrapping paper and the hassle with the sellotape because it 
does me in every year and they're beautiful and I love that and then finally from Beauty Works we have this which is their advent calendar and this has got £120 worth of product in it but it's only £79 which is amazing and on the back you can see everything that's in it so it's their 12 days of Christmas gift calendar so we've got like the 10 in 1 miracle spray the detangling brush oh my goodness a detangling brush sign me up a hair accessory trio a comb some dream shine like there's all the products on the back there are so many I'll link it down below so you can see exactly what is in it but I'm gonna if I can I'm gonna open this up so this is what it looks like you can see all like the little numbers and stuff on it and these are some pretty big um what are these called like pretty big I can't think these are some pretty big like little door things are they called doors yeah doors I love it when you know that the doors are big you know that there's a big product behind it I am so excited about this I will be unboxing this throughout December as well so if you want to see each thing inside it I'll be doing little vlogs and Instagram stories and stuff over Christmas so you can see this see so yeah, if you want any of that beauty work stuff it'll all be linked down below with all the details and everything but there are some really really good savings in here like these are full size products that you can get a discount on so I definitely recommend having a look and getting some and they're such perfect presents as well so like a friend your mum your girl or whatever these are pretty perfect they're easy shapes to wrap as well you've got a nice just drop that out if you've got a nice rectangle here that's what we like we don't like having to wrap circular things so these are perfect so yeah like i said all the information all of that will be linked down below for that and then i'm going to move this stuff out the way quickly and then we shall carry on the unboxing so i have this giant parcel and i've just brought this little leather bodysuit over with it which i didn't mean to do oh i didn't bring any scissors that was really really stupid of me i don't know how i'm gonna go about this without having any scissors i'm gonna use the beauty works comb oh am i gonna use that is that gonna work oh my god because not only can you use this to comb your hair it also works really really well for unpackaging parcels it's like a little saw this is amazing oh okay this is exciting Okay, I can't fully get into the parcel because I don't have scissors, but I'm just going to give you a sneak peek. We have a whole literal giant parcel, a giant parcel stacked full of bow and tea things. But there is going to be a whole dedicated haul coming soon on all this stuff. So I'm just going to give you a sneak peek for now because I don't want to ruin the haul. But this literally is jam-packed with things that Bowen T have sent me which I'm very very grateful for. That might have been a very abrupt ending to that clip but I just wasn't I wasn't liking the lighting in that clip it made my face look very very shiny and I just don't look very nice in it so I've just got in the car I literally filmed that clip about two minutes ago and I'm now just going to refilm the B&M haul part because I wasn't loving how it's looking so still got the sun patch here like i had in the intro because i'm filming it the same day um but anyway i'm just going to do a quick bnm haul i've not got much room left on my um sd card so we don't have long to ramble which is probably a good thing so i'm just going to get on with doing a little bnm haul for you all because i bought some stuff from bnm and i thought you might like to see it first off this isn't actually from bnm this is from pets at home just look at this this is adorable um i got some pets at home best eight pound i've ever spent and if you don't know i've got two large golden retrievers so finding them little like costume things is normally really hard because they do they normally don't do them big enough but this i got in an extra large and it fits reggie perfectly i haven't tried it on billy but reggie is nearly a year old so just in case you've got a big dog and you want to know for size reference lighting's a little bit funky but it's this little um like fluffy snowman outfit adorable then actually moving on to b&m stuff i got this which i thought would just it's such a cute little idea it was also a bargain but i also thought this would be quite good for like a video or something so this isn't um i keep going to say x and eve but i don't like saying that because it just sounds weird christmas eve luxury hamper it was five pound and you get some hot chocolate in it a little snowflake marshmallow topper um, a mug some candy canes a little gingerbread cookie thing a hot chocolate stirrer and some reindeer fluffy socks which for a fiver is an absolute bargain this is actually quite a good like secret santa present or just like a cheap little present for someone i think it's really nice or for a gift for yourself then carrying on with christmas i literally got this one today look at this it's like this little snowy christmas scene thing um with these christmas trees on and this was eight pound and i feel like it looks quite expensive actually i mean if you look really close up you can obviously tell they're fake christmas trees but i think from far away that looks really nice actually almost white company-esque in a way so i'm very impressed with um i was gonna say like blt then that's a sandwich um i'm very impressed with 
um b &M. that's what i meant to say for that and then we have this random bag of stuff so i got these because we all know i love donuts so it'd be rude to not get these i saw them and i was like oh my goodness i've never seen them before they're called tv snacks and they're like original glazed crispy cream donut biscuit things looked really cool then from starbucks i got this toffee nut latte syrup because it's so christmasy and i've never seen it in the syrup before i knew that you could get it because alana said that she had it in the syrup but i've never seen it before and this is 4.95 and i thought christmasy coffees and then i also got this um a cookie straw which i haven't had yet but they've got these new cookie straw things which is quite cool i think that was literally like 60p as well and then carrying on with hot drinks i got this from bnm like this i was like what the hell it's cadbury drinking chocolate but it's neapolitan flavor so it's a blend of chocolate strawberry and vanilla flavors that is crazy this could either go one of two ways it's either gonna be delicious or disgusting don't really know but i think it's imported from australia i think i don't know how much that was i just honestly i just go into bnm and i just don't even care about the price it's really bad not that anything is really that expensive in there but like i can't walk out of bnm empty-handed and i know i'm not the only one that struggles with that and i'm going to go to home bargains next week and i just know that my bank account is going to get dented by it because they're just so cheap and you're just like oh my god and then it all adds up when you get to the till anyway then i got these again i think these are imported um some twix pod things i've seen these before on instagram but i've never managed to get them so i was really glad that i managed to they're like these little chocolatey biscuit things i think and then i got this um which is like 2.99 hello that's quite expensive for a chocolate bar couldn't resist i literally stood there looking at it like you don't need that you don't need that i buy so much chocolate from bnm so i literally was trying to talk myself out of it i still walked out of the shop with it didn't i i did obviously pay for it but do you know what i mean kit kat caramel crisp ice cream sorry but that sounds right up my street with french caramel flakes hello yes please can we see the ice cream on the bottom as well my mouth is literally drooling at the thought of that 2.99 well spent if you ask me to be honest 2.99 well spent and then a few little christmasy bits i got um these are so random and i don't really know what i'm going to do with them but i just thought i'd find a use for them i think they were literally like 60p and normally these things are quite expensive um and i thought do you know what they're probably going to sell out as well so i might as well get them so i got these little they're basically edible cake decorations but i thought maybe for like a hot chocolate or something i could make or just i'll put them on a cake do you know what i'll just put them on a cake santa claus absolutely adorable can we see him there we go um a little christmas tree again adorable and this one this is, could be my favorite but i do quite like santa the little reindeer and he's got a carrot hasn't he how adorable and then from the same brand this is from a lovely lady called betty winters i saw these which are like the same thing little christmas decorations for the cake but just little ones again do you know what i feel like these would work for a hot chocolate they're like little sugar like crispy sugar things i think but i don't see why you couldn't sprinkle them on some whipped cream on a hot chocolate I mean it might taste a bit weird but i think like you know like texture wise they could go a bit soggy on the hot chocolate who cares it's just for decorations you know what i mean so that is what i got basically um yeah this might be the end of the vlog so if it is thank you all for watching i apologize for the um bad lighting in the beauty works clip that i literally just filmed but like i said it's like two o'clock and it's just i could not find anywhere in the house to film that clip other than there um and that was still bad lighting i mean i could have done the unboxing in the car but that would have been a bit weird especially big boxes in the car anyway i need to stop blabbering now i hope you enjoy this vlog if it was a bit all over the place which it probably was i've just got a feeling it probably was then i apologize <laughs> um i hope you enjoyed it anyway though i'm getting hungry but i've just had some lunch i had a rubbish sandwich that i got from aldi because i wanted a quick lunch so that i could like get on it just wasn't very nice anyway i'm gonna end this video now i hope you enjoyed it and i shall see you at some point soon another one bye